Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to explain to you guys the workflow for the translation of exam questions to Portuguese. So in the board here you can see a lot of exam questions listed here for translation. You can join any of those cards, preferably in order, and assign those cards to yourselves and inside the cards you're gonna find a description and in, descrip in the description you're gonna find a link to Ken Hubs's uh, admin page and in that page what you're looking for is this YAML part here sometimes this YAML part is gonna show like this one with a download link and sometimes it's gonna be like this one here clavicle that has the YAML data already embedded into this admin page uh, either way what you want to do is you want to select everything uh, and for that you can press control A on your keyboard and then you want to copy that with control C and paste it into a Google Doc into an empty Google Doc here so if there is the text box here with the data you can just copy and if there is a link to download you can download it download it save it anywhere in your computer and then you can open it and in your computer for the first time you open uh, those types of files it's gonna probably ask you which program which program you'd like to use to open those files and you can select notepad for Windows or text editor for Mac. Uh, again, the same thing here, you're gonna press Ctrl A in your keyboard to select everything and then Ctrl C to copy it and then you'd go to the blank Google Doc and press Ctrl V to paste it and once you pasted the contents of that YAML file here uh, you're gonna want to find each question uh, and translate it to Portuguese so these contents of the YAML file are a little confusing to us because it's code it's meant to to the computer to understand not human beings but the questions uh, which we should translate are uh, mixed with that code to find a question you want to press Control F in your computer and look for con and look for concepts, just like here, concepts. And then you're gonna find the questions. So each question inside this YAML file starts with concepts and goes right up to the next question U U I D, and there is a number, a hash number here. So this that is selected right now is one question. The next question starts right below and goes up to the next question UID and the next one and the next one and the next one. As I mentioned each YAML file has a different number of questions and sometimes the same question can appear in two different uh, YAML files. Uh, but I'll say more, I'll explain more on that later. So to translate you're gonna find, <coughs> uh, pardon me, you're gonna find the first concept uh, here, this is the first one, and inside uh, the question, remember the question is from concept to question UID, but inside this this selected part you're gonna find a German question marked here by the DE and then a English question marked by the EN. What you want to do is you want to include a PT questions right here in between the English question and the right terms. Uh, however, the indentation matters so this space here should be correct uh, the same as this one here and this one here 
So what I would suggest you do is you find this first line of the English question here and then you select it, select it all and then you copy it and right after the English question is over you go ahead and paste it you see it has the same indentation here obviously since it's a copy and then you can just change it from EN to PT and then you would erase the English question here and type in the translation and end with a question mark sometimes you're gonna notice that the DE and the EN questions occupy more than one line you don't need to worry about that you can type in the Portuguese question in a single line uh, no matter how long it is if it breaks uh, by itself just leave it the way it is you can translate it straight ahead the the Portuguese question and you should not worry about line breaks sometimes you're gonna find that the EN and the questions are looking something like this and again you should not worry you can translate the Portuguese question just straight ahead uh, without worrying about those symbols here uh, so for example in a case like this one what I would do is I would copy the first line where the EN appears and then paste it down here erase this type in the Portuguese question and remember to change here from EN to PT okay so as I mentioned before uh, there are questions that appear in more than one question bank simultaneously so sometimes when you download the YAML file you're gonna find that there are a few questions that already have the PT question translated because probably that question appears in another question bank that has already been translated in those cases you can just ignore this question and go straight to the next question here and continue translating uh, as if nothing happened okay when you're done when you're done translating uh, each and every question from English to Portuguese you can copy the link here and you can attach to to the card uh, which contains that those that YAML file so you can just paste it here give it a title so humorous and scapula and you can click attach here okay uh, one thing I forgot to mention here whenever you are translating so I'm gonna erase this translation I've made here whenever you are translating please please use the suggest mode here and not the edit mode so go to suggest mode here and then proceed to do what I've mentioned before so PT question 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 the translation and then you can copy the link and attach to the card once you're done you can move that card to review and the next person the person assigned and tag me and I'm gonna tag some somebody to review those questions you've translated and if you are reviewing uh, there should be a file attached here obviously if you are reviewing you can accept or reject uh, all the translation uh, the translator have has done okay and then after the the that card or that question bank is translated and reviewed you guys can tag me again and I will upload uh, that question to the website okay I hope uh, this is clear it's a little different this process is a, li is a little different from what we've been doing because it involves editing a, a file that contains code but 
overall is very simple and if you guys have any questions about the whole process feel free to tag me and I'll do my best to explain. Okay, see you guys. Uh, bye bye.